Hi guys, welcome to Hope and Learn with Afrin. So previously I have discussed important questions of MPNC. So in this video, now I am going to discuss important questions on control system according to JNTUH. So to know get more videos, get more important questions, please subscribe my channel and like my video. So I am going to give important questions for control system. Please make a note of them or prepare for these. Let's get into the video. So from unit one of the CS subject, explain. First question is explain various type of control system with suitable examples. What explain? the various type of control system with suitable examples so they may ask this question in another type that is with suitable example explain the classification of control system with suitable example explain the classification of control system this is the first question in first unit totally we have eight questions seven questions prepare these seven questions that's it. That is enough for this unit. So first question is this. Now second question. Derive the transfer function of field control DC servo meter. Derive the transfer function of field control DC servo meter. Okay. This is the second question. Third question. Explain the mature voltage control DC servo meter and obtain its transfer function. Explain the mature voltage control DC servo meter and obtain its transfer function. Next fourth question is find the transfer function of a AC servo meter. What? Find the transfer function of a AC servo meter. So you need to prepare for DC servo meter and as well as AC servo meter. Next, fifth question. Differentiate between open loop and closed loop system. Differentiate between open loop and closed loop system. Sixth question. Block di uh, diagram reduction means this is a problem. Numerical problem. This is not numerical. Block di uh, diagram reduction related problems you need to prepare. Block diagram related problems. Next. Explain the feedback effect on parameter variation. Explain the feedback effect on parameter variation. So these are the seven questions from unit one. Now I am going to give the questions from unit 2. So unit 2 is explain the standard test signals that are used in time domain analysis. Explain the standard test signals that are used in time domain analysis. Second question. What is meant by time response? What is meant by time response? Ex in that we need to explain about steady state response, time transient response. Steady state response, transient response. Next question. This question they ask in previous year question paper. Find the Steady state error for unit step, unit ramp and unit acceleration. Find the steady state error for unit step, unit ramp and unit acceleration for following system. These are the numerical questions. This you need to find unit step, unit ramp and unit acceleration. That is first one is 10 by as into 0.1s plus 1 into 0.5s plus 1. Okay. This. Next. 1000 by s square into s plus 1 into s plus 20. For this question you need to uh, 
that find you need to find unit step unit ramp and unit acceleration next fourth question write specification of second order system write specifications of second order system fifth one a unit feedback control system has a forward transfer function g of s is equal to 25 by s into x plus 6 find the rise time peak time and the maximum overshoot for the unit step in input we need to find rise time peak time and the maximum overshoot for the unit step input okay next sixth question state and explain r head stability criteria and related problems we need to state and explain this rh stability criteria and problems related to rh stability criteria so see third unit first question what is phase margin and gain margin what is phase margin and gain margin state and explain the Nyquist stability criteria and problems. We need to state and explain Nyquist stability criteria. This is and related problems you need to practice. Next problems on polar plot and Bode plot. This is very very important. Question. So many times they have asked this and this one. These three questions are very very important. Okay. So I am going to give some problems on polar polar plot and Bode plot. Uh, that is the uh, means, uh, this model, this type of questions they may ask in the examination. These are the sums for the Bode plot. I have totally six sums. So first one, g of s is equal to k into s square by hmm. one plus zero point two s into one plus zero point zero two s. So for this, you need to figure out the Bode plot, and you need to find gain margin and phase margin for this question next g of s is equal to 5 into 1 plus 0 0.25 s by s into s square plus 16 s plus 100 so for the same you need to plot a body plot and you need to find gain margin and phase margin next third type of questions g of s is equal to k into e power minus 0 0.2 s by s into s plus 2 into s plus 8 so here we have k value so we need to find k value and phase margin is 45 degrees and gain margin is 2 db at this uh, uh, notification we need to find k fourth one g of s is equal to 10 by s into 1 plus 0 0.4 s into 1 plus 0 0.1 s for this you need to plot a Bode plot and gain margin and phase margin G of S is equal to 20 by S into 1 plus 3S into 1 plus 4S. You, here you need to plot a graph and as well as you need to find gain crossover frequency. Here you need to find gain crossover frequency. Last but not least, G of S is equal to 5 into 1 plus 2S by 1 plus 4S into 1 plus 0 0.25S. Here you need to plot a graph. This is for Bode plot. These are questions for Bode plot. Okay. And lastly, I'll say which unit you to prepare, prepare for the examination of JNTUH and how to prepare and you can clear that. Okay. So, please tune to my channel. Now, questions for polar plot. Polar plot questions. First problems. We have totally six problems. G of S is equal to 1 by S into 1 plus S into 1 plus 2S. Here you will get you have to plot a graph, polar graph, and you need to find gain margin and phase margin. Next, G of S is equal to 1 by S square 1 plus S 1 plus 2 S. Here also you need to plot a graph and find gain margin and phase margin. Next, G of S is equal to 1 plus 2 S into 1 plus 0 0.25 S by S cube into 1 plus 0 0.005 S plus 1 plus 0 0.101 s here here you need to find phase margin so similarly all these questions you need to find k by 
s into 1 plus 0 0.2 s into 1 plus 0 0.05 s equal to g of s and you need to find k when gain margin is 18 db and face margin is 60 db next last question of third unit g of s is equal to k by s into 1 plus 0 0.5 s 1 plus 4 s gain margin is 20 db face margin is 30 degrees you need to find k value okay this is from third unit questions now fourth unit fourth unit you need to discuss this step procedural step for lag compensation procedural step of lag compensation in frequency domain okay next we need to list off the properties of G root locus and sketch the root locus of unity feedback system. The feedback system is g of s is equal to k by s into s plus 2, s square plus 2s plus 4. Next, these are the related problems of root locus. g of s into h of s k by s into s plus 4 into s square plus 4s plus 20. The second question of root locus is g of s is equal to k by s into s square plus 4s plus 13. Next. The question is g of s is equal to k by s into s plus 2 into s plus 4. g of s is equal to k into s plus 9 by s into s square plus 4s plus 11. Fifth question g of s into h of s is equal to k by s into s plus 4 into s square plus 4s plus 20. Sixth question g of s is equal g of s into h of s is equal to k into s plus 1.5 by s into s plus 1 into s plus 5 so this is the sixth question now eighth question is g of s is equal to k into s square plus 6x plus 25 by s into s plus 1 into s plus 2 next eighth question g of s is equal to k by s into s square plus 6s plus 10 next ninth question g of s plus into h of s is equal to k by s into s plus 5. Fourth question is lag controller. This is theory question. Next fifth one is lead lag compensator theory. So these four units, I have gave the four unit important question. Now I will say you know, how to prepare for control system for semester exam. So according to now JNTUH paper pattern, you will have all 15 marks question totally 8 questions you will have 1 to 8 question so you will have 1 a b 2 a b 3 a b 4 a b 5 a b 6 a b 7 a b 8 a b or else they may give one directly one question or whatever maybe this is a 15 marks total so this is 1 AB will come from unit 1. 2 AB will come from unit 1. Okay. This is 15 marks. This is 15 marks. Totally 30 marks. From unit 1 you are getting 30 marks. Okay. This is unit 2. Unit 2. Totally 30 marks. 60 marks is covered here. Unit 3. Unit 3. Next 30 marks. 60, 90 marks from here only you are going to get. Unit 4. 15. Unit 5. 15. So. You know how many marks you'll get, but which questions to prepare, which not to prepare, how to score 15 to 15 marks. So here are three. From see this unit three. See my important questions. Here mostly previous year, this year, whatever, they will ask one question theory of Nyquist or this one. Rest of all is the numerical problem of polar plot and Bode plot. So you need to be perfect with Bode plot graphing and polar plot graphing. If you are perfectly with your graph, if you have done perfectly, you will get 15 to 15 marks. Okay, you will get 
30 marks easily okay in fourth unit root locus is also definite question okay i have gave you 9 to 10 questions of root locus pre perfect with root locus so here you'll get 15 marks only learning these two units only learning these two graph 30 15 45 marks easily you will pass if you are perfect with graphs without any mistake and without any scribblings if you write if you do your procedure in your booklet and graphing your graph paper you will definitely pass with unit 3 and unit 4 unit 4 but you need to read this theory questions okay theory this unit 4 and unity theory as well as problem if you read definitely you will pass this is the easy way to pass okay next no i want a plus or o grade you need to concentrate if you are perfect with fifth unit definitely okay or else no go through first unit or second unit which are of theoretical questions some of theoretical some of numerical so pre prepared with that so if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and like it. Thank you.